Steve Rosenblum from SMR Collectibles. Today, we got the opportunity to do a clean out um, of an estate. The hoarder um, had passed away, unfortunately, uh, and we're helping the, uh, you know, the people who are appointed to the trustees of the estate basically uh, sell off the collection. This is one of the most amazing uh, houses I've ever seen. I've only been here once, um, but we're bringing a team of people, a dozen people to, you know, start this project um, there's every single hoarder collectible you can name in here um, they've trusted us to do this based on recommendations and based on you know our reputation uh, we're willing to do this you know in the future and we're you know going to show you inside the house we'll show you through the progression and we'll show you kind of how this uh, how we, we operate and why people uh, use us all right here we go so over here to start we have um, just stamps and coins and pianos. There's a jukebox right there. Nice old Seaberg juice jukebox. There's a piano over here. You got books and you got Hummels, statues, figurines, all types of neat stuff. Stamps over here. Books over there. Another jukebox. The jukebox is a buried in this house. It's amazing. You would think you'd find a little, you know, shoe box, but no, you find a jukebox. It's just a little different kind of hidden item. This is the stamps, coins, cards. I mean, everything was semi-organized, as you could see. But I mean, the customer unfortunately passed away due to COVID. So we're going to be, uh, you know, carefully removing his stuff. You know, this is one of those situations where, you know, if you pass away before you, you know, leave a, you know, a will of what to do with the stuff, you know, we kind of have to go back and figure out where's your better stuff, where's your good stuff. So we're kind of going through stuff and like there's, you know, $500 bills right here. There's, there's all types of stuff in here and we're going to pack this up securely and get this out of here and get it secured because, you know, we don't want anyone taking anything uh, from this house before it you know, has its due opportunity. This is room number one, by the way. So let's walk to room number, you know, two of, I don't know, a dozen, you know, a couple dozen rooms. You know, here's over here. We have jukeboxes. We have at least, you know, four of them, it looks like in here. These are the old, uh, you know, Seabird jukeboxes that we basically uh, will be taking out of here through the moving company. We have old beer signs. Um, there's some plates on the walls. There's all types of neat stuff everywhere. All right, over here. This is his uh, nice, nice room that everyone has in their house. This room is meticulous. <laughs> I love the couches in here. Um, there's a nice little ship on the wall. There's some old cool ships over here. More jukeboxes. He had like these uh, older older diner models. It clearly shows. Um, you know, and there's a dollar right here. So, you know, we'll start with this one dollar. Um, but uh, this is the next room. You know, there's probably more stuff in every room that you know we could find. The uh, person who's helping you know clear out the house is finding stuff everywhere. We'll take a trip upstairs real quick. Um, we got this room over here that's coming up. This is, uh, I don't even know what's going on here, to be honest with you, but I can see, uh, you know, stuff that most likely has some collector value in here. It's going to be extracted and, you know, organized. There's, you know, paper money hanging on the walls, etc., etc. Um, just very cool. I think, uh, this box, this uh, file cabinet over here has uh, organized records in it. It's all the way top down, you know, from Frankie, I guess, Avalon <laughs> to uh, whoever's next. Um, it's an amazing collection of stuff. Um, we're going to take a step outside this room to so the next couple rooms over here. Um, this is the, I guess you call this the bedroom. Um, you know, I mean, I don't have a bedroom like this, but, uh, you know, there are people who live like this. Um, this is his, uh, DVDs in case you ever wanted to watch a DVD. I'm pretty sure there's multiple lifetimes of DVDs here. I'm pretty sure if he lived his whole life, he couldn't watch them all. Um, you know, offhand to be honest with you, I'm not sure what those things are right there. They look cool though. They those look are like car consoles. Car consoles. Okay. The guy's got car consoles in his bedroom. You know, who doesn't? Um, so we have some Seaberg, I'm um, sure another Seaberg, um, jukebox. I can't imagine what's in this closet. Um, yeah, let's open it. More, uh, more albums, more signed photos. It looks like more pictures. I mean, this is, you know, in case you're ever, you know, looking for a picture of, uh, you know, a record of the Beatles, we got them right here. So, you know, yet late at night, you know, after the, after the, 
tens of thousands of hours of DVDs that day you watch, you go look at some pictures and records. So let's see what we got next. We got VHS tapes, seal, cool, very, very cool. As you can tell, this is an uh, overwhelming amount of stuff. Uh, I wish we could pack this up inside of a day. It doesn't look like it's even possible. You know, in case you didn't have enough DVDs in the bedroom, there's a library of DVDs inside the house. You don't have to go to the public library. We have them all, any DVD you want, A to Z, even like some of the numbers. Um, so got sealed sets, sealed movies, sealed everything. In case it didn't come out on, B on DVD, the guy had it on VHS. So, you know, this is one of the most, you know, unique collections that I've ever seen of, of DVDs and VHSs. There's a whole nother aisle back here, um, you know, and I'll let my camera guy get in there. It's uh, an immense amount of stuff. Again, if you uh, have nothing to do and you want to, you know, get, get a DVD or two, just reach out to us. Um, we're about to enter uh, some more some more rooms. You know, unfortunately, this is uh, this is a bathroom. But you know, as you can tell in the bathroom, there's a lot more than no, that. I'm taking that. He's going to be taking. Good. So we're not responsible for the bathroom. <laughs> no. um, this is. Um, I don't know if that's collectibles over there, trash. It's gonna be extracted and figured out. Uh, same thing over here, who knows what this is. Uh, we have a little teddy bear collection, which we probably won't be taking. Um, but um, if you go in any random closet over here, um, there's closets in this room with, uh, you know, word games and more stamps and more coins and more records. You wanna get in here, I'll let you get in because I can't be in there too. There's just stuff. You know, in case you get out of the shower and you want to play a board game, we got a brand new board game right here. Uh, the tax shelter game, of course. Um, you know, nothing better than playing tax shelter after a shower. Um, so, you know, if you ever uh, need a board game, just contact us as well. Let's see this, and and to believe it or not, what you've seen so far, to be honest, we're not even uh, we're not even close to done. All right, back down to the basement. Fire shoes, so we're careful here. Basement, but when you guys open it up, when you, when you turn the light on, you guys are not going to be able to see this. I don't know how many jukeboxes we got here. This whole row and this, this group is not working. Okay. Those over there are. Got it. Cool. So we got, you know, working, non working jukeboxes. Guy seems to know what he's doing. Um, this is uh, an unbelievable collection. I mean, when I was told to come over here, you know, a lot of people want me to come to their house. They say they have a lot of stuff. You know, this is what a lot of stuff is. This is not a little bit amount of stuff. You know, when you, have, when you think you have a lot of stuff and it fills up your trunk, you know, not to belittle what a trunk full of stuff is, uh, but this is, uh, this is not a trunk full of stuff. Let's put it that way. So um, this is one of the largest houses of collectibles I've ever seen in my life, if not the largest. Um, in case we didn't have enough jukeboxes to play music, we always, we had to keep it, you know, we had to keep some fun ton of phones. We got uh, some really cool liquor signs. I'm not even sure what some of these, these signs are worth. Off the top of my head, I have to do some research. There's an old typewriter. I guess the guy was typewriting. I'll be taking the typewriter. Oh, typewriters, you know, he's gonna be taking because he repairs them. <laughs> so we got some uh, liquor. If you ever need, you know, I guess we could probably drink some of that. That's yeah, probably. I don't know so, how good it is. Well, I mean, it's aged whiskey, right? So, I mean, it's probably pretty it's, good. It's tasty so, stuff. We got over here, we got some more, um, you know, you have the lights the over here. Oh, behind you. Got you, sir. See the switch? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. So, in case, you know, 
and my car is getting a little old so <laughs> i'm probably gonna take one of these cars out for a spin to be honest oh wait these are not really full-size cars okay so i guess i can't take these out for a spin but i mean they're really really cool cool car collection over here <coughs> yeah, bless you. so um we got some uh i think these are cassette tapes those i guess they call those down here we got records, records. We got some VHS tapes in case we didn't see the ones upstairs, in case we literally finished them all inside of two days. You know, we binge watched uh, VHS tapes. There's also a closet full of LPs. We got a closet full of LPs over here, back this way, um, right here. Just, you know, hidden closet. This, you know, we need we need the, DVD, the, the records for the, the, the jukeboxes. So, um, over here, we got some phones. We open up like a 1980s stockbroker uh, corporation. We've got some phones for this. Um, we'll just do some cold calling. If you got any collectibles, we've got a fully stocked bar um, for the guys who do the lifting. And, uh, you know, got stuff over here. I can't even figure out what it is. You also mentioned there's a garage full of stuff. I can't, I haven't even seen this yet. So this is literally virgin territory for me. Well, basically, what's in the garage is boxes, phones, and boxes like this. I'd love to see them. Okay. Apparently the phones are, uh, you know, something that actually has some value. Oh, according, according to someone that we spoke to. So. Okay. We're going to be... It's already boxed up. Yeah. And the box. Another. So. Yeah, I, I just... It's Playgirl. That's, that will sell. Bread. Yeah, Playgirl. Play, Playgirl. Anyone need some Playgirls? Um, you know, we got, we got that. It has Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Look at that. Um, so, ladies that want to buy some collectibles, we got some stuff. Alrighty, case of sun kiss in case someone needs one. Oh my god, there's a car right here. These two cars are there, they go to somebody. Okay, these cars are in the state, they go to somebody. Um, so we won't be selling those. A little, a little older for my liking. We got a, got a whole entire shelf of, uh, phones over there, party it's mailboxes. Double, it's double D. Double D, and they're all the way on the bottom, HUD uh, 2. So this is just one unbelievable house. Uh, we haven't even seen the half of it. You guys will be seeing more. All right, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to contact us some more collectibles. And uh, we gotta get to work here.